जी सर ओके टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वेजिटेशन कवर ऑफ इंडिया एक्चुअली वेजिटेशन कवर इन दिस सेंस मींस में इंपॉर्टेंट फॉरेस्ट कवर्स और वेयर द वेजिटेशन maximum vegetation of india is concentrated and what are the type of vegetation which is being concentrated in different spatial locations of india uh, so when we say about vegetation here it is actually the natural vegetation so what is this natural vegetation stands for <coughs> natural vegetations are those vegetation which is being grown naturally without the intervention from the human or without the aid or support from the humans that is the natural vegetation actually it is considered as the gift of nature jo those vegetation which is being grown with the support from the nature like the uh, good soil when there is good precipitation good water resource when there is good climate when there is adaptable soil and environmental condition then there will be maximum growth of vegetation so it is considered as the gift of nature vegetation that has been grown by itself in different area with the help of uh, rainfall sunlight and other elements uh like good soil uh, good uh, good terrain condition yes sub and as there will be vegetation growth and this can grow without the support from the humans the plants have the natural ability to adapt to hard abi aisa hai it is not necessary that every condition should be good but there are plants which are or which is able to sustain in harsh or uh, competitive condition may be is ka they can exist like in desert condition we have the different desert plants we have in marshy areas we have different marshy uh, plants we have in hilly areas we have different trees so they are terrainly or climatically or a uh, different way they are facing some sort of uh, obstructions or uh, not proper condition so the plants are growing in these harsh conditions as well these are the natural vegetations so what are the factors which influence this natural vegetation are mainly the land then the soil then the climate and of course the ecosystem which is being controlled so land bolne se it includes the slope slopiness of the slope slopey hai uh, terrain kaisa hai irregular hai slopey hai whether it is been wet land hai nahi hai to dry land hai all these influence the growth of a vegetation if it is too much water the popul- the vegetation growth is less if there is too much of dryness then also the vegetation growth is less if the slope is very steep so the vegetation can't exist there if the slope is gentle or flat then there will be growth of vegetation and the drainage capacity of the soil is also depends upon this soil condition sorry slope condition in certain areas if the steep is high there will be grasslands so bigger trees usually grows in valley region na a slopey region mein bhi you can see but it should be a gentle so steep slope mein vegetation cover usually is less so that is the first and prior most uh, thing that affect the vegetation cover then the second one is soil the soil should be fertile the soil should be enough drained the texture of the soil the pattern of the soil everything will affect the growth of vegetation if the soil is uh, texture bonus if the soil is sandy 
So usually that cactus plants and thorny bushes can be grow at these kind of soils. On the opposite side, if the, it is wet or marshy, usually the mangrove trees, wetland condition may mangroves can grow there. And if the soil is not fertile or soil is not fertile, the growth is less. And if the soil is uh, soil is not fertile, the growth of vegetation is less. If the soil is fertile, the growth of vegetation is more. So second factor is the soil. And third important factor is the climate. It includes the temperature of the region, the humidity of the region, the precipitation of the region, and the photo period. That means the availability of sunlight. Kitana time say kitana time the sunlight available hoga. Like if uh, this can be seen in the Arctic region and the Antarctic, the polar poles may we know that there is six months sunlight purely, sunlight not available. On the opposite side, there will be six months throughout the throughout the time there is the presence of the sun. So Aisha hai. So plants growth can be retarded during the this photo without this photo peak. Then the temperature, if the temperature is high, <coughs> that shows a dry climate. So dry climate, there will be less vegetation growth. Again, precipitation. Precipitation, optimum is Yes, there is, of course, birds yada vegetation cover bhi hoga, but there should not be water logging. Again, the ecosystem. Ecosystem that where the plants and animals interact with abiotic factors. So abiotic factors, the, all the above factors, the land, the soil, the climate, everything, mineral composition, everything will be interact, interactive in the ecosystem. So for the plants grow, the ecosystem must be stronger. These are the major factors which influence the natural vegetation of a region. So what is the importance of this natural vegetation? So natural vegetation, when we say the important natural vegetation, the main thing is the forest. Forest cover is considered as the main natural vegetation cover. Abhi, different types of forest. In this case, we will add thorny forest uh, in the desert region, mangrove forest in the wetland region, uh, tropical area, I mean, tropical forest, hoga, temperate region, I mean, temperate forest and grasslands. Hoga. All this comes under the natural vegetation. Then, in ecological point of view, the importance of soil, it helps in the occurrence of rainfall. When there is forest, there is, of course, there is rain. Then it promotes soil conservation. If it is a sloppy region, so it has high root, it will stop soil erosion. So it is able to conserve the soil of that particular area. And regulate runoff. The same way, abhi pani jara hai upar se, to isko to rokne ke liye, it can stop the runoff. So it has the ability to regulate the runoff and increase the infiltration rate. Then improve moisture holding capacity of the soil. As it regulates the runoff, as it will reduce the runoff, there will be intrusion of water. So infiltration of water. That means the moisture holding capacity of the soil can be improve and maintain a balance. I said for, a, 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 for an uh, a, ecosystem, an ecological balance is required. There should be diversities. Ecological diversity should be there. That can be balanced with the help of this natural vegetation. So these are the, some of the importance of this natural vegetation. So coming to the natural vegetation of India, we have mainly 
six type of natural vegetation first one is the tropical evergreen forest regions then the deciduous forest then the thorn forest and the shrubs region shrubs then the hot desert vegetation then the mountain forest then the tidal and the mangrove forest if you consider india so india ko abhi consider kar rahe uh, i don't know how much so be if you are considering india so if this is india so is the vegetation cover you can you are to understand the climate of regions and the precipitation availability of water of india so aisa bolne se we know that we have studied about the climate we have studied about the monsoon as well so is the region mein we have the western ghat region is the area pe we have the eastern ghat region and we have the aravalli region at this point aravalli then vidya india satpura mountain ranges here then yaha सॉरी एक्चुअली बांग्लादेश पे आ गया तो इसी रीजन पे वी हैव काशी जैंदिया एंड गारो माउंटेन हिल्स देन ईस्टर्न माउंटेन हिमालय एट दिस एरिया देन वी हैव द ग्रेटर हिमालय एट दिस पॉइंट ऐसा है दिस आर द इंपॉर्टेंट माउंटेन्स एंड हिली रीजंस ऑफ इंडिया एंड व्हेन देयर इज रेन फॉल व्हेन देयर इज साउथ वेस्ट मानसून तो इसी एरिया पे वी विल गेट रेनफॉल तो इसका तो इसके अलावा वी विल गेट रेनफॉल एट दिस पॉइंट यहां भी थोड़ा मॉडरेट रेनफॉल इसी एरिया पे भी मिलेगा एंड इसी एरिया पे द गंगा प्लेन वी विल गेट इसी एरिया पे वी विल गेट रेनफॉल हियर आल्सो वी विल मोस्ट ऑफ द ईस्टर्न स्टेट वी विल गेट द maximum rainfall here yeah. so maximum rainfall at this point this point moderate at this point and this point less rainfall this is actually the desert region is the area pe rainfall kam hai this area pe remaining area we have moderate rainfall yahan pe this is eastern ghat to iska pe hai lekin utna zyada rainfall nahi hai to coastal area ye area pe bhi we will get the moderate rainfall milega iska matlab ye hai ki so when there is enough precipitation we have good vegetation cover at that region so india when we consider this is high rainfall region hai hamara northeastern state bhi high rainfall region hai so we can expect a good vegetation cover at this point and this point here we can expect a moderate rain, moderate vegetation because here moderate rainfall hai here also we can expect a moderate vegetation and at himalayan region may be we can expect moderate vegetation but on the other side here this is actually a dry region desert region hai so we can't expect a good vegetation cover at this point so iske samne jo bhi areas hai this is actually semi arid regions hai so we can expect thorny forest or scrub forest at these points we can't expect uh, is a tropical evergreen forest or deciduous forest we can't expect at these points because these are semi arid regions hai so either be we will get uh, more, more than average rainfall milega so we have these three this area we have good vegetation cover this area we have good vegetation cover this area and this area we have moderate vegetation cover and this area entirely it is controlled by the desert region and this area we will have scarcity vegetation cover 
ये इतना सा याद रखना है दिस इज एक्चुअली द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बोलने से इतना सा एरिया पे वी हैव द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वेजिटेशन सो व्हेन वी से अबाउट द ट्रॉपिकल एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल एवरग्रीन मींस कंटिन्यूसली उसी एरिया पे वेजिटेशन इज ग्रीन इन नेचर इफ तो वो वेजिटेशन इफ इट शुड बी ग्रीन वाट शुड बी देर there should be enough rainfall so where the place has having more than 200 to 250 cm of rainfall that area we can expect the evergreen forest throughout the year there should be rainfall that much of rainfall should be there the tropical rain forest is a forest of tall trees in a region of around region of year around in this usi area pe warm hoga as this is india we know that this is tropical region so temperature is always warm and the rainfall should be 125 to 660 cm so average hoga 250 ke above cm rainfall annually there should be annual rainfall should be more than 250 cm ke upar honi chahiye and that should be warm area honi chahiye then there will be too much of growth kyunki warm bolne se usme hoga sun sun rays usme zyada milega usi area pe so that will give the the <coughs> photosynthesis zyada karne ka usi area pe the plant can do that along with that they will get enough water also the rain forest belong to tropical wet climate hum bola hai so isi area pe zyada south west monsoon ka influence especially in the kerala coast karnataka gujarat till gujarat we have this tropical wet hoga then when moving to the, the north eastern state we have the tropical wet climate almost we will get so this area we can expect tropical rain forest the temperature <coughs> in rain forest rarely gets higher than to temperature 34 degree celsius hai and rainfall is more than 250 cm or it can be more than 100 inches zyada hai the rain forest now cover about 6% of the earth's land surface pura duniya dekhne se almost 6% uh, when we say about the rain forest we want to go to amazon rainy forest region so that is actually considered as the carbon sink area here of the earth so almost 6% of the earth is we have the rainy forest region coming to india so we have the western ghat regions so western ghat region actually in the western coast of india or western part of the peninsula we have the western ghats then assam region i said we will get some portion in the tamil nadu ka wo eastern region mein bhi thoda milega so in tamil nadu coastal area mein bhi milega then the lakshadweep and andaman and nicobar island region we will have the tropical rain especially the andaman nicobar region mein we have the tropical rainy forest यहाँ का इम्पोर्टेंट एनिमल्स है एलिफेंट्स मंकी लेमोर डियर ऐसा बहुत कुछ एनिमल्स है इसी एरिया पे बर्ड्स इंक्लूड बैट्स क्लॉथ दैन द स्कॉर्पियंस होगा स्नेल्स होगा इसी एरिया रेप्टाइल्स इसी एरिया पे ज्यादा होगा इस दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट यू कैंट एक्सपेक्ट लायन और टाइगर इन सच काइंड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट because there is too much of climbing climbing trees hoga climbing plants hoga usi area pe so they will get these animals get struck in this climbing uh, plants mein aisa stuck hoga so they are considerably less in this tropical rainy forest region those the climbing animals hai they can only stay at this areas that is the tropical rainy forest region if you look This is the tropical forest region. This is the part till Gujarat ke samne tak. We have this area. Some portion in Tamil Nadu remaining. If you look this area, 
officer in the this area we have the tropical evergreen forest arunachal mein it will not come as this is temperate most of bhi aisa hai we have a tropic of cancer going like this so arunachal is mostly the temperate region has so that comes not comes under this scope of tropical rainy forest for evergreen forest ke andar ye to nahi aayega so tropical rainy forest you will this is the picture it looks like then the deciduous forest deciduous forest aisa hai it's almost the character of evergreen hai but the, they will shed their leaves either in summer or either in winter season may they will shed their leaves that is their peculiarity not that much greenery you can find in the deciduous forest regions this is a for a widespread forest mostly in india we can see the deciduous forest where we will get here rainfall thoda kam hai 200 cm to 70 pehle to kaisa tha almost 250 ke upar honi chahiye tha yahan to aap 70 cm to 200 cm tak iska hoga the area is mostly the monsoon forest cover monsoon area mein monsoon jahan pe effect hoga when there is too much of concentration of rain there we will get the evergreen rain forest but usme se thoda kam hone se wo jagah pe we have the deciduous forest important trees are take bamboo saw shimsham sandalwood aisa bahut kuch trees hai is area pe here we can expect the carnivores bigger carnivores like lion tiger ye sab we can expect It like gear forest mein lion hai and we have the tiger almost uh, uh, most of the deciduous forest mein we can expect tiger in india then pig deer elephant these are the common animals that is been found in the deciduous forest so deciduous forest again is been divided into two based on the availability of water one is moist deciduous forest another one is dry deciduous forest तो रेनफॉल 200 सेंटीमीटर और 100 सेंटीमीटर उतना ज्यादा रेनफॉल है उसी एरिया पे देयर वी कैन से इट हैज मोइस्ट सो देयर इज परसेंट ऑफ मोइस्चर ज्यादा है सो इफ वी टेक द डेसिडियस सबसे नीचे ड्राई होगा उसके ऊपर मोइस्ट होगा उसके ऊपर वी हैव द एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट होगा बेस्ड ऑन द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ वाटर सो फाउंड इन नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स जो नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट है उसी एरिया पे वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट देन हिमालय झारखंड वेस्टर्न ओडिशा छत्तीसगढ़ ये सब रीजन में वी कैन सी द मोस्ट डेसिडियस ऑन द अदर हैंड ड्राई डेसिडियस द रेनफॉल इज कंपैरेटिवली लेस 100 सेंटीमीटर टू 70 सेंटीमीटर आई सेड इन गंगा प्लेन रीजन उसी एरिया पे वी हैव मॉडरेट रेनफॉल है उसी एरिया पे सो द ड्राई डेसिडियस कैन बी विजिबल एट दिस पॉइंट like the plains of bihar then uttar pradesh in some part of the peninsula plateauic region so peninsular plateauic region hai to so center aisa easy region pe uh, wo ganga plain ka wo region mein we can see the dry deciduous forests if you look you can see in most of the region you can see this dry deciduous forest not widely seen but between that easy area pe Uh, almost shrubs is the area pe shrubs and thorns you can see at these points as the rainfall is coming so yaha this is western ghat hai western ghat ka the opposite side mein you can expect this deciduous forest within this evergreen aisa ye to dikhaya hai but it doesn't seem aisa ye pura evergreen nahi hoga iske beech beech mein you can see the deciduous forest also alternatively you can see the dry deciduous forest <coughs> so this is the abhi winter season mein wo and this is winter season mein aisa hoga iska characteristic and monsoon mein aisa hoga iska characteristic and summer mein aisa hoga iska characteristic it varies alag area mein different area mein different types of deciduous forest hoga kuch to aisa hai summer season mein apna plant hoga wo tree hoga अपना लीव्स को शेड करेगा कुछ तो ऐसा है विंटर सीजन में अपना लीव्स को शेड करेगा 
then the third one is the thorn forest and the scrubs so this is mostly seen in semi arid regions not purely in a desert region or arid region this is seen in semi arid regions no uh, between so yaha kya hai utna kam nahi hai thoda sa pani milega less than abhi usme uh, dry deciduous mein 70 cm so this will be come between 50 to 100 cm ke utna sa hoga utna kam hoga the rainfall the trees are scattered and they have long roots kyunki ग्राउंड वाटर उतना नीचे होगा सो दे वॉन्ट टू कलेक्ट दी वाटर फ्रॉम दैट मच बॉटम स्टम्स आर सकुलेंट और टू कन्वर्स दी सॉरी कंसर्व दी वाटर तो ऐसा होगा वो तो वाटर कंसर्विंग स्टेम्स होगा फ्लैशी होगा इसका स्टेम्स लीव्स आर यूजली मोडिफाइड इन टू थ्रॉन्स दैट इज वाइट इज नॉन आज थ्रोनी फॉरेस्ट टू प्रिवेंट इवापरेशन यहाँ का मेन प्लांट्स है अकेसिया पाम्स एंड दैकेट्स दीज आर दी इम्पोर्टेंट फाउंड इन गुजरात में है दैट इज इट इज नियर टू राजस्थान तार डर के सामने है दिस गुजरात रीजन देन राजस्थान इट सेल्फ तो आफ्टर डसर्ट रीजन वी हैव दिस सेमी अरिड रीजन देन सम पार्ट ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ एंड उत्तर प्रदेश एंड हरियाणा वी कैन फाइंड दिस thorny forest region in india so plants of thorny for highly specialized to grow in this environment of long period of drought so drought hoga usi area pe pani nahi milega severe temperature bhi aayega usi area pe but they will shed their leaf also during this time but when there is rainfall they will grow again they have long tap rooted so hum ye to hum already i have told you the grasses have adapted that discourage animals from grazing them so iska yahan ka grasses bhi aisa hai isme bhi thorns hoga so it is not easy for the animals to eat them it will pay if they eat so grasses also adapted like so usme zyada grazing is not possible that is a peculiarity of the thorny forest and scrubs at this region so if you look this is the area these are the ye dono area hai actually you can find the thorny forest region yahan is iske andar yahan you can see the desert region desert uh, vegetation you can see at this point so iska jo samne wala area hai here you can see the thorny forest and this crops so it looks like this so isko to yahan plants hai bahut kam hai isi area pe and yahan you can see the grasses grasses are sharp hai isi area pe then the hot desert vegetation hot desert vegetation the water is very less below 50 cm almost average will become 15 cm to 25 cm ke beech mein शॉर्ट वुडी ट्रीज होगा उसके अंदर अभी इफ यू गो टू डेजर्ट रीजन यू कैन सी द प्लांट हाउ थ्रॉन्स इन दर वुड इज सर उसका तो स्टेम में भी यू कैन सी दॉन्स ऑल ऑफ दीव आर रिप्लीट और दैट इज लाइक विथ न्यूट्रिय होगा इसके लीव के अंदर मेजर प्लांट इंक्लूड टर्पेंटाइन बुश Prinky pears, then the brittle bush, then cactus. You can find it there. Animals mainly you can find, of course, camels. है उसी area पे. Then fox है. Desert rats है. Desert snakes है. ऐसा animals भी उसी area पे you can see. 
so hot desert region this is the hot desert of the world if you look here you can see the thar desert of india so we have the hot desert vegetation also in india so this is the abhi mostly this vegetation cover you can expect in the oasis region so jahan pe desert mein pani milta hai usi area we will say it as oasis oasis mein hi we can see the greeneries there then the mountain forest so we have different mountain sides here yahan if you look western ghats hai yahan we have eastern ghats we have aravalli here we have vindhya and satpura here we have himalaya here yahan se aisa himalaya hai so when we say about the mountain forest usually we are considering the himalayan forest the forest in the mountain areas na why mostly in the himalayan areas. so you can see mountain forest at these points kahan pe hai in arunachal we have mountain forest in sikkim we have a uh, mountain uh, mountain forest in uttaranchal or oh, uttarakhand we have mountain forest himachal pradesh we have mountain forest and in jammu kashmir we can see the mountain forest and in main thing is that in mountain forest we can see the coniferous forest also because when the altitude is high there will be ice there will be cold temperature hoga cold climate hoga continuous throughout the year also there is there the trees are in the form of cone cone jaisa form mein hoga most of the trees so we can see the coniferous forest at this areas so look you can see the mountain forest and the finally we have the mangrove forest <coughs> so mangrove forest aisa hai this is mainly seen in the coastal areas coastal area mein you can find especially in the deltas abhi uh, sundarban delta region you can see the mangroves then mahanadi krishna godavari we have said about the peninsula so is sub delta mein you can see the presence of mangroves deltas ka importance kya hai so there will be water hoga rain water intrusion hoga isi area pe another one the soil is fertile and you can see clay nature as well we can see at this points so yaha soil acha hai pani there will be salty hai thoda so uh, plants which are able to sustain on salty water can exist at this forest mangrove forest mein the sundari tree in sundarban delta is one of the example for the mangrove trees mainly seen in ganga the mahanadi krishna godavari jo bhi rivers ho in the coastal areas of karnataka tamil nadu sorry coastal areas of karnataka tamil nadu kerala uh, Ma maharashtra you can see this mangrove forest but mainly seen in the mainly or widely seen in sundarban delta and deltas of mahanadi krishna godavari and kaveri these are the trees abhi dekho ye to andar se they have root hai abhi yahan se stem se root aayega iska and that will give deep rooted in the soil pani mein hai pani ke upar pani ke andar deep root karke this will exist so these are if you look you can see yahan sundarban delta is area pe hai mahanadi ka hai godavari krishna kaveri in sab ka you can see the deltas in this deltas you can see the presence of mangrove forest so when again when we say about the vegetation cover vegetation cover of india we have tropical rain forest then tropical deciduous forest tropical or moist deciduous and the dry deciduous forest we have then the thorny forest or this thorny forest and this shrub there then the mountain forest we have then the desert forest we have then the sorry desert vegetation we have 
than the mangrove forest leaf. These are the major vegetation cover of India. Some other point you have to note regarding the distribution of natural vegetation in India is the statewide representation. In the state forestry, 2000 release here hai, the forest survey, the forest and tree cover of India is about 78.29 million hectares. Hai. When we consider the forest cover of India, it is almost 78.29 million hectares, hai, which means about 23.81% of the geographical area of India. Almost one by fourth of the country's area is covered with different type of not only the rainy forest not only the deciduous forest it contains all kind of vegetation so when we say about 78.29 million hectares is covered by this forest cover in india and 15 states have registered aggressive increase of 5000 square kilometer ka increase hua hai 15 states mein. with punjab leading with increase of 100 square kilometers. Itka, itna zyada square kilometer Punjab ne bol zyada hua hai. So the largest forest cover is seen in Madhya Pradesh. That is 77,265 square kilometer area of Madhya Pradesh is covered by this uh, forest. And the lowest is in Haryana, that is 1,745 square kilometer. The state of Madhya Pradesh, and we have in Arunachal Pradesh, it is 67,410 square kilometer area of forest cover. We have, we are in second place, and 80 percentage of our state is being covered with this forest cover. So these are the some of the points you have to note. If you look at this picture, we can clearly see. See, in this area, pe, I said, this is a desert region, hai, but kam hai vegetation in this area. Pe. Then, this is an arid region, in this area, pe, you can see. Uh, sorry, yaha, aisa. In this area, pe, you can see very less vegetation cover. Abhi, this is moderate. Deciduous, wo, is hum bol diya hai. Yaha, wo desert region ka samne wala area hai. Yaha, you can see the vegetation cover, but comparatively lesser in nature. Isi area pe mountain area hai, Vidya or Satpura ke beach mein hoga, to either be moderate vegetation cover. Hai. But when you coming to the peninsula region, you can see the vegetation cover, very high vegetation cover. That is in Western Ghat region and the eastern gut region is the area you can expect but between that in the center region i said there is leeward side oga between western guts and eastern guts ke beach mein bilkul center mein usi area pe the uh, southwest monsoon is stopped by or uh, is being intervened by the western gut hai to leeward side oga isi area to udhar thoda sa Rainfall come here because of the same vegetation is also comparatively less at this point. Look at this area. This is the northeastern state, our northeastern state, including Arunachal Pradesh. You can see there is high vegetation cover. So these are the major points used to be not. Is may I have included too much of uh, images because it is easy to understand from the images. Yes, we can easily write an essay on the vegetation cover. So vegetation cover we know the different types of forest. Evergreen forest, deciduous forest, thorny forest, mangrove forest. Yes, where it is being distributed. That should be not. Uh, that's all. Any doubt on this topic? No, sir. Sir, first of all, after you have to immediate share the video. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir.